I want to show you the uh, the reason I showed you two Bibles, ESV and the, and the King James, to show you these two Bibles which Christians believe to be the Word of God, they oppose each other. There are some passages is in the yeah, yeah, uh, in, in King James. Chapter 17, which Not just that one. There's many of them. There's many passages. There's many passages in King James, but they are not in the NIV. NIV. Yeah. Why NIV is something which has been revised recently? So if 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 the word of God has is needed to be revised, it doesn't make any sense, man. That's why you know we should think about it and read. So um, you see, when I saw it, or what we were saying is actually right. It's some of them have been taken up. But the question is why and how. You see why? why? Yeah, Allah, why? Allah, Allah mentioned why in the Quran. As a Muslim, we know why. Now, now then you no. find out. No, I okay, that, that, that King James <laughs> verse. <laughs> The question is, for what, here, yeah? for what purpose was that King James Version written? You see, authorized version of King James. So it was authorized by this king to make sure how these words, how they are, write them exactly. That's why the purpose. So that's why we found out no, that... No, 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 sorry, sorry to cut you the have respect. You're missing the point. The point here is that both them, King James and ESV or NIV, yeah. are based upon a manuscript, okay? Exactly. So those manuscripts backdate, for example, let us stick with the Old Testament, yeah? Then we go to the New Testament. The, the earliest manuscript for the Old Testament that we have, okay, the full one, literally 1,000 years after Moses. So there is a gap between Moses and the scribes who has written that manuscript, which is, listen carefully, yeah? Look at the camera over here, which is 1,000 years. So 1,000 years, someone came after Moses, and he's telling us what Moses said and did and what happened to the Israelites. The question that any human being with a sound reasoning will ask is, okay, who is the scribe? Do we know him? No. Is he trustworthy? If we don't know him, how can we say trustworthy? So how can we trust a book and rely on a book and put my life based upon a book that I don't know who has written? When you come to the New Testament, it's very similar. We have the full manuscript for the New Testament, a few hundred years after the original writers. So 500 years after someone came and attended us, King, uh, John, Mark, Matthew said this and that. But we don't know the writers. That's why when it comes to Islam and we look, look, look at the Quran, the Quran has been preserved perfectly. And we can verify that in our time. We can, we can you know, in the Quran, Allah said, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidun. We have sent them the Quran and we will preserve it. That is a claim, correct? That is in the Quran, it's a claim. Allah mentioned that. Can we verify this claim? As a non Muslims, you can verify easily. What we do? If the Jews and the Muslims and the Christians, all of us, we decided to burn our scriptures or to throw them in the sea, then the only scripture will remain with us is the Quran. Why? Because it has been memorized by hundreds of millions of Muslims, and that has been the case since the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Therefore, the Quran will never be lost or corrupted. You see, uh, it's interesting, like you said, opinion is the cheapest commodity. Anyone can say what he believes. You see, all things. But what if you go and say so far? Yeah, so you've said your opinion. But like the Bible we're talking about, like the New Testament asks you, based upon what criteria was the New Testament written? The New Testament is the Word of God with the true revelation of the Word of God, Jesus Christ. God's word that manifested as a human being. No, so no, no. I have respect for that. I'm, nah, no, 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 no. I have so respect. We We're going to have a nice discussion. Are you digressing? When you are You're not dealing with my points. Please. I'm not talking about Jesus, the word of I God or not. Can but we have a nice... No, but... but I've got quiet. I know. When you speaking, let me finish. Because I was dealing with the subject. Let me finish. 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 So, Mikhail, so, uh, Jesus, the, word, the New Testament, the New Testament is the revelation of God's word in the person of, of Jesus Christ. So, whatever Jesus says is the revelation. Prove to me Jesus word, said it. Is, is the word, what is in the New Testament? Prove that Jesus said that. He said what? What does he say? Whatever is in the New Testament, prove it to us. Jesus really said it. What you see, you, you will not listen to my point. Uh, listen carefully. Ma no, no, wait, wait, wait. I have respect. Let's, let's have a, a civil discussion. You know, yeah. there's people are watching out there. They want to learn. We're not here to shout at each other. It's not a, a, a shouting match, you know? 
Yes. See, because I mean, myself sometimes I get angry, upset, so, but let us yeah, change this life. Uh, what, change, I mean, change, what change this life. What you clearly, you no, know, no, clearly, you were not listening to what I was saying uh, previously. Yeah. I was saying to you, you said opinion. My opinion is based upon facts, based upon clear cut proofs. You know, there's two types of opinion. There's opinion that is based upon ignorance, or three types that I say. Opinion that based upon assumption and opinion that is based upon facts and proofs. Yes. If the opinion is based upon facts and proofs, yes. we should take it. So I just demonstrated to you, uh -huh. based upon a non Islamic uh, expert from the Christian and the Jewish uh, expert, that the earliest manuscript for the Old Testament is 1000 years after Moses. And the earliest uh, manuscript for the New Testament, uh, 400 years after the original yeah, writers. Yeah, yeah. So my point here is. Yeah. That this King James, uh, King James, NAV, ESV, yeah. these Bibles that we have, yeah. we did not get them directly from the writers. Neither we have original manuscripts. Neither they were passed down to us by memorization, by trustworthy individuals. So we got it by people who wrote the manuscript, and there's a big gap between them and the original writers, but we don't know those who wrote those manuscripts. So the question that we ask as a human beings with a sound reasoning, what are their names? Do you know them? Now, Hold on the manuscripts. You see, I kept quiet. You it's not about keeping quiet. I can, no, 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 if he's going to keep quiet, that's the tree. Because no, 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 the tree can keep quiet. Wait. No, no, no. Don't. It's about the it's coming. Yeah, yeah, ask the question. It's, we are dealing with something which is don't real. Tell us about, about your life story. Yeah. Yeah. Now, something, about, something about the one who created us about God. You said your view. And I made this statement. Opinion is the cheapest, I repeat again, the cheapest commodity. Anyone can just open his mouth and say, what you believe. Now, what you say concerning the New Testament that it came to us after 400 years, which is not true. You may ask how. Wait. Now, based upon what criteria was the New Testament written? When the Lord Jesus Christ left, he left his disciples. Yes, Jerusalem, right from day one, they started upper room prayer. And all what Jesus taught them continuously, they were teaching them. Like you are talking about recitation, uh, memorizing, continuously, just like those who follow you. If you, if you don't have cameras like this, those who follow you, those words, or those who are listening to this, when they go home, they can recite and tell others. That's how the New Testament was compiled. When they were compiling, within the first century AD, how, what was the yardstick? The words that when the disciples meet in gathering about Jesus Christ, what they will teach them, that's what they do to compile the New Testament. And concerning the Old Testament you are talking about, Moses was a scholar. Moses was, yeah, Moses uh, was a scholar. Mo uh, sorry, sorry, stop, stop. Where Wait, stop, stop. Was, let Mo me finish. No, but Moses said, what, I just want to repeat, can you repeat what he said? Moses was a scholar. He was a prophet, Moses, not a scholar. No, yes. He, he was, was a prophet. He was, raised, he was a teacher of scholars. No, he was, yes, he was raised in Egypt. If you go to the New oh, Old Testament, you find out that after God has given him this word, he wrote them. He wrote every one of them. Moses is the outer, not the well, lie, sure, okay. Okay. Inside, and no, nobody interrupted him when he was talking. Let me speak, let me speak, because why? You see, when I finish, that's how we have genuine culture. Yeah, but as long as you do a discussion, yeah. because I can take now, my time so, as I speak no, about cameras. And I'm going to say, don't cut me. to tell you it's not true. So, right from the time of Moses, yeah. we have genuinely the recording work. Even now, so tell me which manuscript back to, to Moses? The New Testament, Genesis. No, 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 no. That's not the New Testament. Step by step to understand. You, you see, okay, I make step what, by step. Let's have communication yeah, now. Yeah. Can you tell everyone here, enlighten us, what is the earliest manuscript for the five books of Moses? The earliest manuscript, the full one. You see, if you study the words. No, no, I'm not asking for me to study. I'm asking you a question because you claim I got it wrong. So therefore, you have the, the true knowledge to correct me and to enlighten us. So my question to you, what is the earliest manuscript that we have for the full, uh, 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 the Torah, the full one? What is the earliest manuscript? Right from the one, the day God called Moses. No, no, I'm not asking about God called no, Moses. No, 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 no. I'm that's asking you what I'm, is the earliest manuscript. That's why I'm coming no, 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 no. The Sinaiticus, listen, listen. The Sinaiticus, the Sinaiticus manuscript. Okay, there is there's this there's cross. Okay, no, no, wait, 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 brother. You have to understand me, no, brother. Wait, what's your name? My name is Bismarck. What's your name as well? My name is Shamsi. What's your name? Shamsi. Yeah, what's yeah. your name? Bismarck. Huh? Bismarck. Bismarck, okay. Yeah. Bismarck, understand me very well. Yeah. You claim from the people that yeah. I got it wrong, which I haven't, alhamdulillah, because I studied this issue before I come to speak to you. I'm asking you simply and clearly, which is 
the earliest manuscripts that we have for the full Old Testament. The earliest manuscript that I have, a written one. Which one? What is the name of it? It has nothing to do with me. It has to do with the Pentateuch, which is the five books of Moses. No problem. The five books, the earliest five books of G Moses, where we have like manuscripts, written full one. Which one is it? Here it is. Originally, those words were not compiled. I'm not asking you that. No, no, I'm asking no, the earliest can, manuscript. No, there is no, Sinaiticus, no, there is Dead Sea Scrolls. No, no, you can't. Right, take care of yourself. Mala help you. you. That's it, yeah, yeah. No, no, take care of yourself. That's it. No, take care of yourself. I've been here for two months. No, no, no. Khalas, I'm not going to be here. Ah, Khalas, take care. Take care, Baba. May Allah guide you to the one as well, yeah? Okay. Just to conclude with the video, Salam alaikum. I haven't been here for two months, alhamdulillah, and I feel refreshed and, and clean, mashallah. Hey. This is sometimes you have to leave this place. But anyway, we're like detoxic, that's it. How you detoxic yourself from these doubts and misconceptions and lies and all of that? Read the Quran. And go back to the Sunnah al-Mustafa. Anyway, I was speaking to him respectfully, but clearly this guy was not dealing with my points. The Christians and the Jews, they cannot establish their beliefs. Are you looking for him? No, I know you debating I'm not debating with this debate, my brother. Wait. <laughs> You know, so what you have to understand, Ikhwa, they cannot prove to us that the Bible is being preserved. I was asking him simply, what is the earliest manuscript that we have for the Old Testament? He's not answering the question. So I'm not going to entertain him, just keep uh, repeating my question. I have to walk away. Alhamdulillah, I prove to him that the Quran has been preserved. That Alhamdulillah, the Quran, now 100 million of Muslims, more the Quran, word for word, letter for letter. And you take it back, you take it back. We do not rely on a manuscript because well, if we find mistakes in a manuscript, which has Quran, we get the Qur'a, the Hufad, the Quran scholars to correct it. Not the other way around, because the Qur'a, the scholars of Quran, they have ijaza, which go back to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu go back to Jibreel, go back to Allah. As for the manuscript, who wrote those manuscripts? They say manuscript of Sana'a. I see many people stain it too much, we don't stain this stuff. Who wrote the manuscript? Give me the name, we don't know him. Okay, the, if you don't know him, maybe he go wrong, maybe he was mixing stuff, Alhamdulillah. That's what Ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah have mercy from Shaykh al Islam Haqqa, said when he was refusing the Christians. He said, We are not in need of manuscripts. Naam, there are some scholars are experts in this manuscript, but Hamdullah, we're not in need of it. This is something like we say, something extra. If it's there, it's there. If it's not, Hamdullah, we have our Quran. That's why they say, Let a khudul Quran min ish, min mushafi. Do not take the Quran from someone, just take it straight away from the, from the mushaf. You have to have a scholar. That's why Uthman bin Affan, when he printed out six. Um, uh, Masahif, what he did every Mus'haf, he sent what? A teacher with it to show the Quran has to be taken directly from a teacher. Barakallah, you come, Allah bless you all.